Hey my sweeties, it's the sweetest vegan here. Today on the show we'll be making a vegan catfish sandwich. So I've been wanting to replace fish for a long time in a vegan sort of way. And I was inspired the other day when we went to Long John Silver. I went with my grandmother and she got this plank, this fish plank thing. And I was like, well, if that's just a plank of fish, then I could probably make a plank of something into fish. And so, you know, we baked the zucchini the other day. And I was like, if I just left that long and just cut it in half, seasoned it up, battered it and fried it, it could probably make a good catfish. So that is exactly what we're doing today. I am so excited for this recipe and I hope you are too. Here we go. So we're gonna start this recipe by heating some canola oil in a frying pan on the stove. Just leave that at about a medium high heat and watch it in case it smokes while we prepare our other ingredients. So first we're gonna prep our zucchini. You're gonna cut off the ends and then you're gonna cut the zucchini straight down the middle lengthwise. You want it to be long. You just want it cut in half the long way. And then you want to sprinkle a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and let it go ahead and get all you know marinated and stuff <laughs> then we're going to make our batter in a shallow bowl you're going to whisk together all-purpose flour even though i use whole wheat flour you can use whole wheat flour if you would like to or you can use all-purpose flour like me or you can use whatever fish fry batter you would like to use but i just use whole wheat flour and old bay seasoning i use about two tablespoons whisk that together set it aside in a separate bowl, you're going to stir together mustard and water. Stir that together until it's combined and then add a little bit of the flour back to the mustard and water so that it can get thick and stick to the zucchini. So now we're ready to dredge our zucchini. You want to coat it in the mustard and water mixture. I had a difficult time with this. So if you make more than, let's say, six of these planks like I'm making, then you can use like a a shallow bowl or something different to help coat the zucchini in the mustard stuff but get it on there the best way you can like I did and then put it into your flour mixture cover it in flour and then you can drop it into the oil do this for about I did three planks like three halves at a time just because that's how much space I had in my frying pan but hey if you got a bigger frying pan or something do however many you want at a time <laughs> and once those are done you can take them out and put them on a paper towel but just like i said for the oven fried zucchini and the oven fried green tomatoes in fact i could put annotations to those videos here you can check those out but eat these immediately the crust will not be crispy if you wait too long eat them fresh out of the hot oil don't burn yourself do not burn yourself because people don't sue me because I said eat it out of the oil. But eat it as fresh as you can. It is so delicious. It adds so much to it when you eat it fresh. But it's going to be crispy and crunchy and then it's going to be juicy on the inside. And I just plated it up just like we would any time in the South. You have like on Saturday they have like catfish sandwiches. People sell them for fundraisers or just you know as a come up or whatever. And you put the bread into like a foam carry away box and the catfish is always bigger than the bread but you slap it on there anyway and it's all crispy and crunchy and then you put hot sauce on it or malt vinegar we don't have no malt vinegar right now so you put hot sauce on it then you put mustard on it you put the other piece of bread on it and you eat it it is so delicious it's so juicy and this has been sitting around for a little minute and the extra crispy parts are still crispy so it will last sometimes but the not so crispy part is still crispy but it's not crunchy i guess that's how you say it that's it for today bye oh did i use that i never used that I forgot the bacon soda, bacon powder, but I made it and it didn't make a difference. So, I guess that's how the recipe will stand. I forgot it. Jeez. Louise. Okay. <laughs>